Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another video blog here inside the studio in Oakville. My name is JT, alongside the President and CEO of the WBFF, the World Bodybuilding and Fitness Federation, Paul Millette. This past week, we received a lot of emails and, and comments from the viewers and fans of the WBFF regarding a topic saying that uh, a lot of contestants and people are afraid to compete inside the WBFF because the competition is so fierce and so good. Is this rumor true? <clears throat> there is some truth to it, J you know, JT, that, um, that I have heard that, you know, some competitors are afraid to compete with the WBFF. Right. Because of the level of competition or intimidated by the, by the, by the, the competitors who we have. Right. But how are you going to call yourself a competitor? and be afraid of competition. But doesn't competition breed better athletes? Absolutely. Absolutely. The best of the best compete with the WBFF. So if you want to be the best, right. you got to beat the best. What's very true, very true. What's the point of going to compete someplace where you beat a girl, you beat a guy who is nowhere remotely close to, to, you, to your level of competition just so you can go to your friends and say, Oh, I placed third, or I won. You're only as good as the person you beat. And if the pe person who beats you is, be is below you, I mean, what does that say for you? For the thousands of people right now that's watching this video blog, and, and they have a, a fear and a desire at the same time to, to compete in the WBFF, do you think they should remove that fear and just jump in and compete against the best? Is that going to make them a better athlete, a better fitness model, a better bodybuilder? Well, if, again, like I said, if you want to be the best, you got to be the best. You have to be the best. Right. You can't be afraid of competition. When I competed, JT, yep. I was never afraid to compete. I want, I want to go up against the best because if I beat the best, I then become the best. So you can't be, a, you can't call yourself a competitor or a true athlete and be afraid of competition. Yes, the WFF has the best of the best. You know, we have the Jennifer Nicole Lee, the Tina Rigdon, uh, the Emily Sterling. You know, I mean, <clears throat> there's so many amazing competitors with the WFF. Uh, I, I can't even mention all the names. The inception of the company was in 2007. Correct. And it's grown to a huge, huge success right now in 2010. In the next five years, where do you see the progression of this company, WBFF? Where is it going? The vision of the company, what do you, what do you see happening for it? Well, you know, for us, the vision is mainstream. Right. We are not trying to compete with any other fitness organization or bodybuilding organization out there. We're truly uh, our own entity. Right. We want to be known as WBFF, the fitness, fashion, glamour organization. Uh, so five years from now, I mean, you know, I'd like I would, I would like to see us on uh, national television. You know, I the big time. The big time. You know, I mean, so that's where I'd like to see us. I'd like to see us in five years' time, where. You know, our prize money, you know, is, is a, a couple hundred thousand. Right. So that's going to bring out even more competition, better competition when you see those kind of numbers. Oh, yeah. You know, the more money you put into something, right. the better the competitive competition is going to be. The more media you're going to see, the right. more mainstream it becomes. Right. So, you know, instead of saying 10,000 for the winners, you know, Five years from now, I want to be a hundred thousand for the winners. Right. Are we going to do it? Sure, you are. One hundred percent. Yeah. Because where we are today, no one, no one gave us a chance. No one thought we could have made it to where we are. Well, basically, negative vibes and and bad karma towards an individual like yourself and your company that's only going to fuel you to become bigger and better. You need negativity to turn into positivity. So you need that. Well, you know, JT. For me, I consider myself a true athlete. Right. Whether it's on stage or off the stage. Right. And I take that same that same personality of being a competitor, wanting to be the best. Right. And bring it into the business business world, where uh, it's a take no prisoner attitude that I have. I 
I want the WBFF to be the best thing out there. Right. The best thing in fitness. The best thing outside of fitness. You know? Another question I had for you, and a lot of the viewers sent a lot of emails about this also. When people hear the name and the word bodybuilding, the stigma behind that, because you're not only bodybuilding, you are truly a fitness federation. Yeah. So for the people watching this right now, it's the World Bodybuilding and Fitness Federation. The aspect of bodybuilding versus fitness, how close are they? Well, you know, I think people have a, have a, a misconception about bodybuilding. Okay. <coughs> what is bodybuilding? Right. I mean, does a bodybuilder have to be 300 pounds? Right. No. My idea of a bodybuilder is anybody who goes into the gym and build their body. Right. So it could be the mom of four. Right. You know, it could be the lawyer, the doctor that goes in the gym and wants to build his or her body. That's my idea of a bodybuilder. Um, the direction that we are going in, I mean, be it the bodybuilder guys or the fitness models, is uh, again, like I said, um, it's more, uh, we are not looking for freaks right. when it comes to bodybuilding. Freaks. We mm -hmm. want classic bodybuilding. Right. You know. So the small ways, the washboard abs, right. you know, uh, and that's why I say we're not competing with uh, any other major organization out there because they're doing their thing and we're doing ours. You're doing your own thing. Yeah, right. uh, we're trying to appeal to mainstream market where our competitors are not going to scare mainstream advertisers. And when is the next WBFF show? Well, the next one is our Quebec show. Which Quebec June, show, yeah. yeah June 19th. Uh, the Casino Lacline. Right. Uh, it's uh, it's in Gatineau, Quebec. It's gonna be an amazing show that we have on uh, July 3rd. Right. At uh, Calgary, Al Calgary, Alberta. So it's pure Canadian content. You're going from Quebec to Alberta. And then we hit Toronto. Toronto's the big one. Toronto's the big one. In um, September. September. We're looking at more than 300 competitors at that show. Very nice. Very and nice. we're gonna do it up big. We have we have the largest production company in North America that does, does the production for us. So it's going to be an incredible show. You know. And your sponsors that uh, you want to speak of right now who are backing the WBFF, your major sponsors right now you'd like to send some love out to? Uh, we get a lot of love from <coughs> EAS. Yep. You know, and, uh, you know, Mr. Steve Gibb and Richard Levy. Um, we get a lot of love from GNC, Muscle Farm, yep. you know, Fusion Bodybuilding, PVL. Uh, we're, we're very fortunate that we have a lot of great sponsors involved with the WBFF. And there's a lot more to come. And there's a lot, there's more, a to lot come. more to come. We're Definitely. working on we're working on something big that we can't share with you yet, but I'm telling you, if this drops, it's gonna change the whole perspective. And for all the for all the haters. You keep hating because we love you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm JT, alongside Paul Delac, President and CEO of the WBFF. And we are online live right now, the WBFFshows.com. And next week, catch us right here in the studio in Oakville for another video blog. Take care of yourself and each other.